Hi there, it's Stephen from bestgolfguides.com and today I'm taking a look at the Garmin Approach S3 Golf GPS Watch the uh, latest version uh, from Garmin following up from the success of the Approach S1 so let's take a little closer look at this device as you can see it's, uh, it's a white finish with uh, red trim on this one and uh, it also comes in black with grey trim uh, it's very easy, it's quite a chunky device as you can see the size of it there it's very very easy to use obviously it's just like a watch uh, and the information you can see here we have uh, we're on par 5 hole uh, hole number 5 on this particular course 482 yards to the middle of the green 503 to the back and 460 to the front of the green uh, a couple of ticks here and we can see layup areas so uh, if I want to lay up for 150 yards then I need to hit it 325 which is a little bit beyond my capability uh, but you get this layups on the longer holes so it gives you an idea of what you need to hit uh, to get the, the layup that you, you actually prefer so here we are uh, another great feature on this is the, uh, the green view so we just go here to green view and you see the, a picture of the green this is the green on this particular hole this is the shape of the green and I can move the flag you can see here I can move the flag around and when I go back to the actual hole the, uh, the distances have changed to reflect that so what that means is, is that as you, uh, as you approach the hole uh, and you see where the, the pin actually is you can go to a green view you can slide the flag icon uh, to where approximately, approximately the flag actually is uh, and you get much more accurate uh, measurements as well another cool feature on this is the ability to measure distance most of us uh, tend to have a, kind of a rough idea we think of what we actually hit each club so by pressing this once I just walk and you can see the yardages begin to, to clock up so it's very very straightforward very very simple to use uh, you just hit the, uh, the distance button and, uh, then, and then walk and it will tell you how far you've hit the club so it's a very very good way to very simply and very accurately determine just how far you actually hit the clubs uh, myself I uh, I have one of these guys who has been probably just walking, assuming that every every step is one yard. Uh, and to be honest, when I used this device, I was very very surprised by just how inaccurate my my guesses actually were. Uh, one of the really good things about this product is that there's no setup um, fees or anything like that. There's no ongoing subscription. Literally, you bring it out of the box, you just charge it up, and it's ready to go. It has comes preloaded with about twenty seven thousand courses. Any course updates you'll get for free, uh, and it's very very simple. Uh, once it's charged, it uh, it's charged it lasts for about eight hours thereabouts. Garmin claim, so it's good for a couple of rounds, maybe two and a half rounds. Uh, and it says it's very very straightforward and easy device to use. I really like the predecessor to this, the S1, but obviously the information on that is quite limited. You know, just with the front, middle, and back yardages. Uh, and as good as it was, then it really didn't stand out from the crowd that much, apart from the fact it was very simple and easy to use, like a watch. However, this device really steps things up again, I think. Uh, you know, with the extra information, the ability to have layup areas, the ability, you know, to determine and change things for on the green, it will tell you how far it is to dog legs, the fact it's preloaded with so many courses. I think this really is a, is a winner. So uh, I have no hesitation whatsoever in giving the, the Garmin Approach S3 a very, very strong recommendation. So this is Stephen from bestgolfguides.com. Thanks very much for tuning in. Uh, please visit the website and let us know what you think about this product if you have one yourself. Bye for now.